Hello Vidblox Makers! Welcome to our series Coding with Vidpro where we will learn how to use the Vidpro blocks. In the previous video, we learned how to control the intensity of the lamp blocks using Vidpro. In this video, we will learn how to control an output via an input using Vidpro. Input blocks help us gather the information about the outside world and with Vidpro, we can use this information to control the outputs. Such type of a logic where an output works only under a certain condition is called a conditional logic. Input blocks are what help us perform such conditional action. So let's start making. Here we'll create a logic that when it is night time, the lamp will be on and when it is day time, the buzzer will be on. To create the logic, let's gather the parts. Vidpro blocks, dark blocks, buzzer blocks, lamp blocks and a USB cable. Now let's make the connections. Join dark blocks to the pin 12 of the Vidpro on the input side. Next join the lamp blocks and buzzer blocks as shown. Connect the lamp blocks to pin 0 of the Vidpro blocks and buzzer blocks to pin 2 of the Vidpro blocks on the output side. Now let's build the logic. First open the Vidpro software. In the pre-setup menu, we specify the pins to be used. Pin 12 as dark sensor and the type as input. Pin 0 as the lamp blocks and type as output. Pin 2 as the buzzer blocks and type as output. To create the condition logic, we will add the if block. Within the block, we need to specify the condition to be checked. Here, we will check the status of the dark sensor, whether it is on or is it off. To do that, we grab the comparison block from the logic menu as shown. This block helps us compare any two things. In it, we specify the parameter to be checked, that is read from the dark pin and check whether it is high now, within the if condition, we add the actions to be performed. Lamp on and buzzer off. We do so via the turn on pin block. Lamp will be turned as on and buzzer will be turned as off. Now, to make it work effectively, we need to specify what happens when the dark sensor is low. For that, we add the else condition from this gear like icon. Within this block, we specify the actions needed when the dark sensor is low. Lamp is off and the buzzer is on. To see the output, we'll upload the code to the Vidpro board. First, choose the right COM port. Then, click on actions and Upload code to board. And finally, our input control output is now ready. Once you learn this concept, you can also tweak the circuit using distance as input and servo as output to create a project like this. In the next video, we will see how to read an input using the serial monitor.